right, you're back on the Chris Break Show, and now it is time for that moment where I ask Mr. Dale J. Gordon, hey, Dale, what happened today? Today, man, I became uncle. I became uncle little sister. She made babies. She made baby pop out. Yeah, man. Yeah, everybody congratulate me. Tried to buy me big super shots at the bar. And I say, oh, no, thanks, it's cool, man, I thought I'd pass you up on the shot. And I had a few of them. And, uh, you know, I say, oh, that's cool, man, I'm super uncle. There was no work on my part. I just let man have sex with sister. Ha, 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 ha. And that's cool, man. And uh, everybody's going to take pictures of the baby, and I'm happy for the baby, and I got the super feeling of being uncle. And whenever I become uncle, I get super mad about the guy that's going to date her in 14 years. And I say, you better take good care of my niece because she's a girl. And it makes me good to be an uncle. It makes me good to be an uncle, and I like everyone that has babies. But every time someone tries to show me a picture of someone that uh, is uh, taking pictures of something that they made a baby of, and the woman says, look what I pushed out of my vagina. No one ever will... No one ever gets happy with me when I show them pictures of things I pushed out of my penis. Usually semen mess or pee and all this trouble. And all this trouble that I cause myself by thinking about things too much. About this cause of trouble, I want you to know what it's like to be an uncle. My uncles hung me upside down by my feet off the porch and they gave me Indian rug burns and they gave me noogies. And every time I ask questions about things about life, like how come I have a skeleton, they would tell me funny things, like um, that my bones were used to make butter. <laughs> and all this trouble I had with uncles, now I'm an uncle. U-N-C-L-E. Now I'm an uncle. Oh. Brother, let me tell you what it's like when you become an uncle. <laughs> Feeling come over, young man, whose sister had a baby. <laughs> Feeling come over, man, whose sister had a baby. <laughs> Feeling come over, young man, whose sister had a baby. And he don't want nobody messing with his. Who that is? Who that be? You coming to my Thanksgiving dinner? Yo, you be dating my niece. You be wearing a nice sweater. I know you do bad things at night time. I know you do bad things at night time. I know you do bad things at night time with my niece. How's the sex? The sex is decent. That's good. I want you to take care of my niece. I want you to be happy. I want you to do things that mean special things to people. <laughs> who, that, who that is? That you, I, you should take me on a chest bus. Oh, my mom, you say, I got it. Uh, I'm an uncle now, and it was, um, easy on my part. You will go visit, and you will buy things for him. You will purchase things. Where do you want to buy stuff for the niece? At the mall. <laughs> Doesn't it mean more if you make it on your own? <laughs> Who is that talking to my niece? Don't you talk to me like that or I'll kill you, brother. Uh, I'm protective now because I'm an uncle. I ran out of gas while I was parked. All right, that was Dale J. Gordon. Congratulations, sir. I'm happy to hear about your niece. Doesn't seem like she was born on November 30. But it seems like you got that news pretty fast, and it got delivered pretty fast. More power to you, sir. You're listening to The Chris Briggs Show. 
Until next time. <laughs>